put yourself on a path and you choose to continue with this path, whether it's addiction, it's mental health, it's your work, your studies, no matter what it is, when you go on this path, do you sometimes just jump on it? Do you even think about what am I selecting? Is it something that is just beneficial for you in your ways? It might be beneficial for your family. Don't thoroughly think through it. It's like a, a shortcut where you want to get there as quick as possible and you don't want to wait any longer. We feel like whichever shortcut I could take or whichever way that's quicker for me so I could get on with other things in my life maybe. And you might have a long list that you want to conquer in your whole life. But sometimes when we do do that, we hit a failure and then we hit another failure and then we hit another failure. But then we don't realise that, is it us taking shortcuts that's making us fail? So in this video, we're going to cover the reasons why you shouldn't take shortcuts and why you should be true to the process. So I used to be someone who wanted quick solutions. I couldn't wait. And most of the time, the biggest thing that was my problem was I wanted to feel better instantly. So I would take any shortcut I could. But looking back now, a lot of people gave me this advice that you might be missing something. What I kept on doing was I kept on just getting this advice of people and I just kept on going with it. Things like moving out the city or you need to get a job or you need to probably get married or something like that. These solutions are kind of shortcuts and I did try a lot. Like I did change my environment, I did move out, I did a few things. I was homeless for a bit as well and I went to prison but nothing changed. What I noticed today and what I believe today is that most of these paths that I took, they were shortcuts for me. A shortcut to the path where I wanted to get to, my end result that I wanted was obviously to be sober, was to be clean and have a better mental health. The only thing that was stopping me was I didn't really prepare. So I didn't really look into what I really needed to do. Now, whether, like I said, whether it's your work or studies, before we jump into something, we need to figure out what we're jumping into. Biggest thing is the why. Everything that we do in our life is, is a why. The minute you wake up, there's a reason for you to wake up. If there was no reason, you'd probably lie in bed all day. And the time you go to sleep, there's a reason for why you go to sleep. And if you didn't have one, you'd probably be up all night. And that's how I was. I didn't have a reason to wake up. I didn't have a reason to go to sleep. So I'd be up all night until I needed sleep. And in the mornings, I'd hardly wake up. Everything that we do, we need a why. If we've put in the why, and if we've now figured out why are we doing this and what we're going to do about it? If it's an addiction, how are we going to tackle this addiction? 